Hello and welcome. If you have mastered how to write a memo, then possibly you also need to get evolve further and learn to write business writing mails. So what is business writing? Let's delve upon this important topic. There's time. Let's begin. I'd laid down five steps for great business writing with tips. Right? So the let's begin the ability to communicate effectively through writing is an important skill in the business world clarity and simplicity in business communications are crucial and it is important to be an effective business writer regardless of the medium now before we i go on and explain why the shoot is let me also give you an explanation that nine out of the 10 people do not get promotion just because their business writing is not up to the mark and that's the reason i've taken this pain to shoot a special episode or a video on advice on how to improve your business writing skills and use them to propel your career ahead now what is business writing business writing is a form of written professional communication business communications can be internal written only for those within a company or external written for clients or target customers all business writing should be substantive and practical the goal is to communicate your information as clearly accurately and quickly as possible emails proposals reports memos that we have dealt in our one of our exclusive video how to write good memos and many other types of documents are all considered business writing how to write in a business environment let's understand this knowing how to write effectively for business can help you succeed in your role demonstrating good writing skills can highlight your intelligence improve your performance and help you to be seen as trustworthy you never know you would be one out of 10 which gets a promotion so you might become a promotional candidate at the same time so these skills can also help you to influence others through your writing boost your professional confidence and create opportunities to achieve career goals use these steps to help you develop your skill in business writings number 1 identify your purpose number 2 write your write for your audience 3 develop an outline 4 create a rough draft 5 check for accuracy and proper grammar let's understand step by step one by one as to what they mean we'll begin with identify your purpose The goal of business writing usually falls into one of the following four categories. Number 1, to convey information, 2, provide instructions, 3, persuade or define a transaction. Take time to clearly define why you are writing to decide on the best way to approach your subject. Number 2, write for your audience. Before creating any business document, define your audience. Consider what your audience already knows about the subject, what they need to know and how they may feel about it. It is also important to know their names, positions, location and other key details. This will also help you determine the tone you should use when writing. For example, you might feel comfortable taking a more familiar approach when writing to a coworker, while you may reserve more formal writing for a client. Number 3, develop an outline. Write out a list of the major subheadings or topics you will address in your writing. These should be the main ideas you will cover in that document. If needed, you might further divide those subheadings into more detailed points if your document includes any important data this is where you could use it to clarify your main ideas number 
create a rough draft. Using your outline as a guide, you can create a first draft by writing out each of your points in full detail. Aim for simplicity and clarity in your writing. Be direct by using short words, sentences and paragraphs. Choose everyday words that most audiences will be able to easily understand. Everything you write should contribute to fulfilling the goal of your document. Once you create the first draft, give yourself a chance to read it over and look for areas that could use more direct wording or clarification. If possible, ask a trusted peer or co-worker to look over your writing, which will help you approach the document with a new perspective altogether. Number fifth, check for accuracy and proper grammar. Carefully proofread to ensure your spelling, grammar and punctuations, they, whether they are correct throughout or not. Now these are the conventions, minimum, bare minimum expected out of a professional writing or a business writing. So. You mind as well putting more time and validating all the information written and written with considering audience and the tone of the writing into perspective. You should also use this time to double check the details you have included, mostly included such as dates, very specific figures because it is only the unique thing that you are talking about and charts in case if you have prepared because that is again a unique thing that you are discussing. You may also want to verify the names of people, places and organizations including spelling and capital capitalization. So you need to be very specific there as well. Few finer points to, to really focus on. Now business writing tips and techniques. Use these tips and techniques to further develop your business writing skills. And what are they? Write the points of your plan in an order. It can sometimes be easier to know how to finish a point than it is to know where to start. Begin with the information you are most comfortable and confident with. Then go back and complete the rest. Number two, use the active voice. The active voice gives clarity to writing and avoids unnecessary wordiness. In active voice, the subject of the sentence performs the action. But in the passive voice, the subject is acted, acted on by the verb. For example, the car was hit by the truck is a passive sentence. The truck hit the car, which instead puts the idea in the active voice. Now this is more concise and helps the reader quickly understand the point of the sentence. Use headings. Divide your writing into easily identifiable sections. Using headings and subheadings makes it easier for the reader to scan and to move to an area of focus. Now support your statements. A paragraph should begin with a statement of its main idea, but that idea will be more convincing if you support it with facts, figures, testimony, endorsement, analogies. So when you have the opportunity, expand on any information you provide by using examples. I'm sure with the exhaustive manner that we have handled business writing and with the crispier thought that we have laid down for you all, it would be very, very comfortable not only to go through but to understand and bring into your actual practice. If that is the understanding established with you all, I think that is what a pure intention from our side as well. Now we have, we are in our endeavor, we are trying to give you all types of writing so that you become confident. And mind you, we have already laid down cover letter for you, email text body for you, which you normally send it to your recruiter or prospective employer. Those are also there in the, this particular channel for you all to see and improve upon your writing ability. 
now the professional writing only helps you to showcase yourself not only being professional but also being one of the promotional candidate which nobody can take lightly take you lightly so start preparing and understand that every writing is a uh, has a different approach altogether so what are you waiting for guess you know be get started and be best prepared thank you